All right. Shalom and welcome back, guys, to uh, Wobbly Camera, Rock Talk Live. It's great to be with you guys. We got one more story here. And as you guys know, tomorrow I'm going to go see Sammy Hagar with Joe Satriani, Jason Bonham, and Michael Anthony. The best of all worlds tour, Lover Boy, is opening up for the band and going to have a good time. Me and my brother are going. And um, Joey C. Got to go and see um, Sammy uh, over the weekend. And I'm going to be, be bringing you guys, the members of this channel, some footage and all that stuff. There's going to be a secret video that's going to be uploaded on Rumble so we don't get any sort of copyright issues that only you guys are going to be getting the uh, the links to. You're going to take all my footage from the concert, go and combine it all together and all that stuff. It's going to be a great time. I, I just cannot wait. But um, this is actually a little bit of something that we covered the other day when we talked about Joe Satriani's performance of the first couple of, couple of shows from the videos that I have seen. Sammy Hagar addresses claims that Joe Satriani doesn't sound like Eddie Van Halen. These genius, genius kids can do it now, but they didn't necessarily know what he was doing. That's the thing that you constantly saw in these forums. Why didn't they get this person? Why didn't they get this YouTube personality to play? Why didn't they get this for that? You know, <coughs> and I'm going to address all this. First of all, before we even get into the art article, I'm going to address this. First of all, when you're, when you are in a band, there's personalities there. You guys have to be able to click together. You have to be able to work together. It's not like going and playing a record. It's not the same thing. You actually have to click with the people that you're in the band with and also realize that you're going to be on tour with them for months. So you have to be able to get along with them. They have to be personalities that you want to have around so that there's no issues that are happening and all that stuff. Now, when it comes to YouTube guitarists, this is true with all YouTube guitarists like myself. I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of a secret. We take 40 takes a lot of the time. It is not like these guys, these professionals like Joe Satriani or even Vic Johnson, who was in Sammy Hagar in the circle. These guys go up there night after night. They don't get 40 takes. They get one take. And they nail it. So, you know, the thing is that a lot of the people that make these claims, why didn't they get Nuno? Why didn't they get John Five? Why didn't they get this person, that person? It's like they, they, they don't take into account any of these things that they should Understand, guys, I have toured with bands, okay? I've had my own bands that I've gone and played out with and all that stuff many, 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 many years ago. And unless you've been in this, you don't understand how this actually works. It's not like putting together an all-star team for like the NBA or something like that where you, you, know, you don't even have to talk to the guys. You know, they just go out there and they play. They have one game. That's it. It doesn't matter if they hate each other. It's just one game. You know, th this is something totally different. Music's a totally different situation. Sammy Hagar reflects on Joe Satriani's ability to play Eddie Van Halen's guitar parts, noting how hiring the guitarist for the Best of All Worlds tour was probably the smartest move he made. And I agree. Despite some naysayers show, uh, showing their heads following Satriani's small fumble during the Howard Stern appearance, which took place well before Sammy's ensemble, um, started drilling for the tour, mind you. The consensus was that Satch had been the perfect choice for honoring Eddie Van Halen's legacy, and both in the fact that he had previously contacted the same role by Alex Van Halen. And the earliest Best of All Worlds show prove the consensus was right. Although Joe previously admitted that he'd been staying away from Van Halen stuff for most of his career, and that he wouldn't subconsciously incorporate too much of his uh, late guitar heroes playing into his own style, Sammy Hagar never doubted that his chicken foot and circle collaborator, well, uh, Joe's not a part of the circle, but you know this is probably just something the guys at, at uh, Ultimate Guitar didn't know, and was the man for the job, he told Classic Rock in a recent interview. A lot of people are going, Joe, he doesn't, he doesn't play like Eddie. I know that, but he can. And when he can't, he knows what he's doing. And he throws this little twist in there sometimes. 
certain Van Halen so solos are just so iconic, you know? There's just uh, certain notes where it ends and where it starts. Joe's got all that down. He's not skipping over any of that stuff. And when Eddie would start stretching out, Joe starts stretching out of um, of the Eddie th of the Eddie's theme, and so it sounds and feels like a. Hey. <coughs> but you're listening and going, "Oh, that's Joe. That's brilliant." And yeah, this is something that I covered, you know, in that episode where I end up talking about this. You know, the thing is that from the videos that I've seen, Joe has found this perfect balance of doing the Van Halen thing, but also being able to be himself, not just out there mimicking. People want, for some reason, they have this idea that, you know, that, that, that a person just needs to recreate the record exactly. One of the things for me, whenever it is that I, whenever I go and get live records, you know, or download them on Apple Music or something like that. Whenever I do that, there's a reason why I'm going to the live record because I want to hear what this band sounds like at this stage in their career. You know, if, if you have a song from like 1977 and then it's recorded in 1993 in a live setting, you're going to hear different production methods being used. Sometimes you're going to have a bigger sound and you're going to hear it slightly different. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But you know what? The thing I got to tell you is that so far on this tour, Joe Satriani is making it work. And I'll be able to be able to see that up close and well, not too up close, you know, about, you know, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't necessarily have the cheap seats, but I'm, you know, not in the, the lawn either. You know, I, I'll be able to see this stuff you know, and hear it in real time for myself and be able to give you even further analysis of this as opposed to somebody just shooting something on a cell phone video. And that's one of the things that I'm, I'm going to be doing on Saturday. All right, so uh, let's go and see uh, what you guys are saying there. Donkey says, I appreciate you, bro, but I feel guilty. Accepted a piece of candy from someone. I don't know what he's saying there. Uh, not too much tonight. Just relaxing, brother. Ram, it's 6.33 here. Uh, Deadful says, shop work lights are cheaper dogs. You can get a tripod or two for 500 watt LEDs for like 130. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out my lighting thing. Some people have said, get some of those like LED lights and stuff. I was like, I don't know if that's quite my thing. And I don't think it works with wood paneling. I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Donkey says, they won't last in the environment. I use them, man. I've used them. Uh, gotcha. The um, spectrum needs for flowering isn't used in a in a shop light type LED. Okay for veggies, but not flowers. You know, I think Donkey knows the stuff here in terms of that. I thought he was joking when he was talking about four hundred fifty dollar light bulb. Gotcha. Um, I got a Trump mailer survey uh, for my dead neighbor to read. Went to my box. He was a vet who died from the burning piles of toxic fires. Oh, goodness. Um, I have loved Satch since high school in 1990. It took me a little while to get in onto the Joe Satriani bandwagon. And I got to say, I think Chicken Foot is what did it for me. You know, hearing the song Get It Up and then hearing, you know, live, the live version of them doing Immigrant Song with Michael Anthony on vocals. Man, that was just incredible. And the things that Joe did there. Oof, just incredible. Surfing with the Alien classic album. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. I'm shutting indoor down for the next few months anyway. Might stick with mixed green, uh, greenhouse year round from now on. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. Ducky, I'm not familiar with what you grow. I have an opposite green thrum. I grow everything, Jerry. Yeah, some people have a green thumb. You know, my 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 ex, her and I are still very close. And um, she is, you know, she has this garden that she's constantly bringing me stuff from. Green beans and jalapenos and all that stuff. I mean, she's just phenomenal at whatever it is she tries to grow in that garden. She has so many different things like squash and, you know, uh, the green beans, the jalapenos. And I said, when am, when am I getting my celery? I want my celery. But, uh, man, you know, some people just have a knack for that stuff. Dinner time. Have a great night, Jib and friends. You have a great night as well there, Deadful. 
Uh, let's see, flowers, herbs, fruit, veggies, greens, grass, and trees. Um, do you see an avatar picture, Jerry Lahane? Yes, very small. What is it? Everybody's saying hated goodbye to Deadful. Uh, great Skittles flower. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, guys, I'm going to jump off on, on here because it's 7 o'clock. Got the convention coverage. I got to go and send the link to Kai to let him know um, to, to pop in and all that good stuff. And uh, also to some of my friends that may want to pop in who are not, if any of them are not going to be on no filter tonight. And I got to get my shot, my insulin shot and all that stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, um, so I got 15 minutes to go do all that. So I'm going to wish you all shalom bracha. Peace and a blessing. Shalom, guys.